So now we're going to be converting to base 10 from a different base. And base 10, when you're going to base 10, that's our normal numbers. So when you're, when you're converting to base 10, you want to multiply by the place value and then add everything together. So you're going to keep all the original numbers, multiply each one by the respective place value in the different base, and then add all of your products together. When you're going away from base 10, it will be a dividing process. So you've got to make sure you know when to do which one. Going to base 10 is going to your normal numbers. We use base 10 every day. So that would be like going to somewhere familiar. That's an easier process than going to somewhere brand new. So it's going to be the easier way, the shorter way, to go to base 10 than it is to go away from base 10. So we're going to base 10, we're going to multiply and add. So each of these numbers for 5,689 base 5, we're going to keep each of these numbers and we're going to multiply it by a place value. So I've got 5 times something plus 6 times something plus 8 times something plus 9 times something. We're going to multiply by place values and add. So we need place values for base 5. And when you're doing place values, just like in base 10, base 10, our place values are the 1's place, the 10's place, the 100's, the 1,000's, the 10,000's, etc., etc. Always starts with 1. Then it goes to the base, the base squared, the base cubed, the base to the fourth, the base to the fifth, etc., etc. So we always start with one on the farthest most right. The next place value is the base. What base are we in? We're in base five. So you're going to write the base. Then you want the base squared. Then the base cubed. So this gives us 5 times 125 plus 6 times 25 plus 8 times 5 plus 9. And what you're going to do is you're going to multiply them all together. So we've got 5 times 125, that's 625, plus 6 times 25, 150. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 9. And then add them together. 625 plus 150 plus 40 plus 9. Do 824. Since we are now in base 10, you do not need to put a subset. Only need to put the subset when it's a base other than 10. If you do, I'm not going to count it wrong, but my math lab will. So you've got to be careful in my math lab. It doesn't want the subsets on base 10. So going to base 10, or to a different base, to base 10, you're going to multiply by, multiply by place values and add them all together. So this is base 5 to base 10. But sometimes, sometimes you have letters in your numbers. It says a 51BA, base 14. Anytime you get bases larger than 10, they're allowed to have letters in them because they're allowed more symbols than we have in our normal base 10. So what, what the letters mean is A is always going to be your first two-digit number in that base. So our first two-digit number is 10 normally. So 10 is always going to be your A which means B would be your 11. There is a C, it would be a 12, a D would be a 13, so on and so forth. A is always 10. That does not change problem to problem. A will always be 10. So we're going to work this in a very similar way. We're still going to base 10. So we're still going to multiply by place values. We've got 5 times its place value plus 1 times its place value, plus B, well B is not really B, 
B would be if A is 10, B would be 11. So we're going to do 11 times its place value. And then A, A is not A, A is 10 times its place value. And then we're going to fill them in the same way we did with base 5. The only difference is we have base 14 now. So our place values, starting at the right, always start with number 1. Always start with the 1's place. The next one over will be the base, followed by the base squared, followed by the base cubed. Don't try to do this math in your head. Make sure you've got a calculator with you. So 14 times 14 times 14 is 14 cubed. So we've got 5 times 2,744. Plus 1 times 14 squared is 196. Plus 11 times 14 plus 10. Do your multiplication. 5 times 2,744 gives you 13,720. Don't be afraid of big numbers. They are allowed to happen. 1 times 196 is 196. 11 times 14, 154, plus 10. Then you're going to add all these together. We've got 13,720 plus 196 plus 154 plus 10. Gives me 14,080. Would be it. Now in base 10, you do not need the subset because again, we're in base 10. If you were in any other base, you would need the subset. So when you're converting to base 10, multiply by place values, add together. Take each number, multiply it by its respective place value. Do the multiplication, do the addition, and you're done. To base 5, or from base 5, I'm sorry, from base 5 to base 10, same thing. Multiply the respective numbers by their place values. Do the multiplication, do the addition to get your answer. Any questions, please email me.